like God really gave me those ten years to find the perfect set of doctors, perfect set of team, and I think God really wanted me to learn during the ten years of waiting. So it was really a test of faith, a test of trust, and it was really a test of how far can I wait for this perfect time. Ten years ago, um, I experienced some um, abdominal cramps, and then um, what I thought was just a normal abdominal cramps. When I had it checked, it was a tumor inside my right ovary. I had my right ovary removed, and then when we had it biopsied, we found out it's malignant. So that started it all. I didn't know how to process it. Everything was a blur after that. So I was crying. My parents were comforting me. And then that night when I was crying in my bed, a friend called me up. And then she was also actually diagnosed with cancer. So she found out that, that I was diagnosed also. So she called me and then she said, when I was also diagnosed, she um, her first prayer was prayer of acceptance. That's what I did. So while praying, I was praying for acceptance of the cancer. I was praying for strength. And inside me, I knew I had to fight the cancer. So that's where it started. I had to go through chemo. After the first regimen, there was a kind of parang a lump on my abdomen. I had my CT scan. We found out that there's a bigger mass inside of my abdomen. So the doctors um, tried another kind of chemo to shrunk it, but it wasn't working. We were hoping to have it surgically removed, but the doctors then were saying um, it was impossible for them to remove it because the mass was lying on my major artery or my aorta. So they didn't want to remove it. They were saying it was impossible that any moment I can bleed to death on the OR. So we said, okay, let's, let's not do it anymore and then do another session of chemotherapy, still hoping that it will shrink. 2022, I was already uh, feeling some pain inside, like, at the back. So, I have this pain that any paracetamol or any painkiller couldn't, like, manage. I found another doctor, like, randomly. She interviewed me and all that. Got my history. When she checked my CT scan, he said, are you sure your doctor said before that it was inoperable? And then I said, yes, doc, because they didn't want to touch it. And then she said, that's impossible because, look, the space, it can be removed. So when she said that, there was like this weight lifted off her shoulders. So we had this big hope instantly because of this new doctor. So that was June 2022. She had meet up all the other doctors. And all the other doctors were like, oh, we can remove it. And that instantly, like every every doctor was very hopeful, very positive about it. So in a month's time, I did all the tests, meet up all the doctors. And then when that was done, after another month, we had it removed, the, the tumor. We, they took it out of me. It was pretty big. It was around 11 kilos. So when I saw it, when I saw the picture actually, I also couldn't believe that I was carrying that heavy load. Physically, actually for the 10 years, every time that I would hit my birthday, that's when I'm thankful the most because um, I didn't know it. I didn't know if I'm still going to celebrate another year or if I'm still going to celebrate another Christmas. 
So every year, our family would always pray um, our Thanksgiving for the new year. So my prayer would always be like, thank you because, you know, I'm still alive for that year. And I still get to experience another year of um, being with people that we love. God also sent us um, a great support system. Our family, our friends, the LOJ community. Ever since I was diagnosed, like, I would always hear people, like, whenever they approach me, like, you know, we're praying for you. We're always here to support you. So I think that was also something that made me feel um, loved by God because people were there for us, eh. It was really a blessing. Like, God really gave me those 10 years to find the perfect set of doctors, perfect set of team. And I think God really wanted me to learn during the 10 years of waiting. So it was really a test of faith, a test of trust. And it was really a test of how far can I wait for this perfect time. When I was, you know, recovering, um, I was feeling so happy because I could fit into um, normal sized clothes. When the doctor said that I can um, do physical activities, I was so happy because I couldn't do any of that before. I couldn't go swimming. I couldn't go doing sports. I couldn't really work out the way that I wanted to. So now I'm feeling really happy that I was able to do it. I was able to go um, travel without, you know, thinking if the people would, like, you know, treat me like I'm a special like a pregnant person i was able to go to the beach i was able to go swimming again so it was exhilarating to experience normal things that i used to do 10 years ago now i'm still not yet done i still have to go through another set of treatments but i am claiming that this is already the last step that i can so that i can really go back to normal routines in my life so i said to myself if i was able to wait for 10 years why not for a few months more for those who are experiencing um sickness or any disease or illness um i pray that you have that prayer of acceptance inside of you um the more you accept it the more it's easier for you to go through the trials that the Lord will be giving you. For those who want to, you know, someone who are going, is going through an illness, please continue to pray for them. Sometimes you don't need to check up on them every day, but your prayer is a big way of helping them already, keeping them in your thoughts that's already okay. And again, it's really the prayer that helps the most.